Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. By the way, are you the person that sometimes wondering say better good or better? Or we can say also more easier or easier. So today we're going to discuss about common mistakes with comparatives and superlatives, adjective and adverb. So let's take this one out guys. Before we go further to discuss about common mistake, about comparatives and superlatives, let's talk about the definitions of comparative adjective. In here, you can take a look a comparative adjective compare someone or something with someone or something else so there are two things that you need to compare or two people that you need to compare okay remember comparative adjective is to compare so take a look about this example kiki is shorter than bonnie kiki is shorter than bonnie and then the second one, English is more interesting than physics. So those examples to show about comparative adjective. So next, we're going to talk about what's a superlative adjective. A superlative adjective is to compare someone or something to every other person or object in the group. Remember, you also compare one or someone to every people, person, yeah, to every other person or object in the group. For example, Kiki is shorter than all her siblings. Kiki is shorter than all her siblings. That is, we can say that comparative adjective. If you want to change that to be superlative adjective, becomes Kiki is the shortest child the shortest child the shortest in here is the superlative adjective okay the second one English is more interesting than all other subjects all other subjects if you want to change that to be superlative adjective becomes English is the most interesting subject so remember superlative adjective compare someone to every person okay so let's discuss deeper about this topic the formulations comparative adjective you can take a look about this form yeah if you want to add er to it if it is one syllable word you can say one syllable one syllable for example short that is one short if you want to change that to be comparative adjective, just add short become shorter. Add er at the end of the word, shorter. And the next one, nice. Nice is the one syllable. If you want to change to be comparative adjective, become nicer. Can okay, the second one, if you want to uh, change like add more to be uh, before in the multi-syllable word yeah multi-syllable it means that more than one syllable and with all participle adjective and one more exception with all participant adjective so example difficult difficult is the multiple syllable syllable more than one syllable difficult if there is more than multi-syllable, you can say like this, more difficult. Difficult is multi-syllable. So you need to add more before the word. Example, more difficult. Interesting, more interesting. Interested, more interesting. Love, more love. So what about love? Love is one syllable. How can it be? Yes, you can take a look in here. With all participle adjective, for example, love in here, you can add more. Okay? That's formulations comparative adjective. Next, we are going to formulation superlative adjective. Yes, 
let's take a look about this. In the first form or formulations, if you want to add in the one syllable word, you can add est. For example, yeah, est, yeah. But before you put est, yeah, you need to add the, yeah, you need to add the. Okay, for example, short, short. If you want to change to be superlative adjective, you need to just add the and also add est after the word. For example, the shortest, the shortest. Or another example, nice become the nicest. Okay, the second formulation in here, if you want to change to the multi-syllable word, you can also add most, yeah, most. But don't forget, use also the in here. For example, difficult. Difficult is more. I can say multi-syllable. Difficult. If you want to change to be superlative adjective, you just add the most. The most, and after that, the, the word, okay? And then the second one, example, interesting. Just add the most interesting. Okay, interested, just add the most interest. Easy, right? Okay, easy. That's very easy. Don't ever say like more easier, okay? Because you have known about the formulation already, just say easier, okay? All right, so remember, comparative adjective, it's just like add ER for the one syllable if you want to add multi-syllable just use more okay something like that and for the superlative adjective if you want to use like in the one syllable just use the and add est after the word for example the shortest and if you want to add uh, the multi-syllable just use the most something like that all right let's move on so, what about adverbs? We have talked about the adjective. Let's talk about adverb. The same rules apply to an adverb. You know that adverb a lot, right? Adverb of time, manner, and many things. There are four adverbs. Okay. If you want to add one syllable adverb, for example, fast, late, early, you just add er. Yeah? Er and est. Okay, so comparative adverbs, just use ER, comparative adverb, uh, I'm sorry, not comparative adverb, superlative adverb, just use EST. For example, something like this, yeah, he speaks faster than me, he speaks faster than me, yeah, so remember, faster, yeah, if you uh, use ER for the comparative adverb, don't forget to use them, okay? And if you want to use superlative adverb, just use a the, and after that, you need to add est after the word. All right? Don't use then anymore for the superlative adverb. Okay, now, next. The same rules apply to adverbs, yeah? Now, let's take a look about the multisyllable. Yeah, the multisyllable for adverbs, let's talk about the comparative adverbs like in here ly adverbs if you want to use comparative adverbs in the multisyllable just use more and if you want to use in the superlative adverb in the multisyllable just use more let's take a look about the example she draws more beautifully than me she draws more beautifully than me and then the second thing she draws most beautifully among all my friends. So let's take a look about the example, guys. It's very easy, right? Yes. Just remember about the formulation and then you will know how to form the sentence. Okay, let's go to the another section. But remember, guys, not all the words can add for the superlative, uh, comparative and superlative. Okay, let's take a look about this example. You cannot use like gooder, gooders, not like that, yeah? If you want to make like 
comparative adjective and superlative adjective just use better for the comparative adjective superlative adjective just use best the second one bad worse worse the third one well better best and then the fourth one badly worse and worse this is the first exception and then the second you can take a look at this uh, continue i mean much or many you can use more or most and the sixth one little you can say less or least and then the seven the last one you can use far farther farthest further furthest. okay let's take a look about the example guys okay be careful to use these exceptions not all the words can use for the comparative and superlative adjective all right next for the exception two future syllables adjective can take either er and ext or more and most you can take a look some common ones are here quiet polite simple friendly lovely lovely yeah if you want to use this one into comparative and superlative you just like use for example like this my area is quieter yeah quieter than yours yeah you can also use like my area is more quiet you can use whether er or you can use more that's okay okay this is the exception number two let's take a look about the exception number three with this common one syllable adjective you should use more and most instead of er and est let's take a look for example if you find these words like ill real right wrong fun yeah you can use more don't use like er there is no ealer okay there is no like realer okay there is no like funner yeah you can use like more fun swimming is more fun than jogging this is the example all right now guys i have done to tell you uh, i have done to talk we have done to discuss about all the topics about comparative and superlative adjective and adverb easy right i think that's not easy easier than what you think right so this is the exercise i've i hope guys you can do this okay you can also comment in this uh youtube channel and don't forget use the comparative and superlative ad uh, adjective or adverbs properly okay i'll be waiting for it for for your answer guys don't forget comment like and subscribe don't forget share this video so that people can learn about comparative and superlative thank you so much everyone god bless you bye bye